Dear students, in this uh, very short presentation, I'm going to uh, present you the central elements of Introduction to Project Management course. PSO is the abbreviation that comes from uh, the Finnish uh, version of the course, so you don't need too much to bother about this PSO, but uh, we have included that now in, uh, in, in, in this, uh, some of these uh, slides and in this flipboard also. Okay, uh, hey, uh, the contents of my presentation and uh, also uh, the course elements are the following. Um, first, learning objectives, then the course content, then we are going to talk about uh, the written learning material, which is the textbook and uh, project portfolio management material. Then we are going to uh, uh, share uh, the understanding that there are 53 uh, lecture uh, videos and then 10 lesson exercises that students ca can independently do uh, in uh, our My Courses learning environment. Then we have the roadmap table. Uh, which uh, shows the connection between this written learning material, then uh, these 53 videos and then uh, uh, lessons, uh, so uh, uh, lesson exercises connection uh, in a way. And then uh, we have uh, four uh, group assignments. And then we have five lecture videos, which we have uh, uh, coded as L O1, like lecture 1 to L05, uh, with selected contents for five sequential class sessions. Okay, now, this is the content uh, that we are going to go through, and now uh, the, the content is in the next slides. First, our learning objectives. Well, the student will learn project management concepts, approaches and methodologies and can apply them in a broader business context as part of the managing of the firm. Uh, the emphasis is on knowledge and skills that are needed in the successful management of projects. Well, uh, we also learn about the special requirements uh, that uh, different types of projects uh, set to uh, the management of the project. So that is customers investment projects, solution providers, delivery project, innovation project, delivery project and so on. Uh, well, also approaches and methods in project portfolio management are uh, learned as part of how projects are managed uh, in a firm or how firms business is uh, managed through uh, managing, for example, development project portfolios. Well, uh, we learn about the management methods that are connected to the business uh, in a wider or broader environment uh, of multiple participating firms. So there are customers, there are suppliers, uh, partners and, and, and other stakeholders. And this project marketing and sales process uh, content and also uh, buying projects and sub-projects uh, is important to understand uh, in uh, these uh, contexts where multiple firms are uh, coming together to make a project. Well, the course content. Uh, we learn about concepts, approaches and methodologies. And the areas are project goal and objectives, project planning and initiation, management of time and resources, cost management, risk management evalu uh, evaluation of project uh, progress, project management and uh, also organizational issues like project organization and the firm's organizations and uh, projects within a firm. Also project business, 
uh, project marketing and sales procurement of uh, and, and buying of projects, contract services connected to projects and project portfolio management. The written learning material. First, we have a textbook written by Arto, Martinsua and Kujala. The name of the textbook is Project Business. And all written material is uh, uh, free of charge and available in PDF version. And the book can be downloaded from uh, this uh, 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 link uh, that you can see in this uh, slide. And also the project portfolio material, uh, Arto uh, project portfolio management, uh, a booklet, if you like, uh, is available free of charge uh, in PDF format. Well, we have 10 lesson exercises. And these lesson exercises, uh, the student can uh, uh, make them or go them through independently uh, in our uh, My Courses learning environment. And the themes of the 10 uh, lesson exercises are uh, listed in this slide. And uh, the idea is that the student goes through, uh, there are some theoretical issues, uh, there is a kind of a story that the uh, student goes through and uh, answers to uh, certain questions and uh, then can check some theoretical insights about that and so on. So in this way, uh, the student can, uh, this is one way of uh, learning and the student can, can learn about uh, uh, the uh, themes and uh, issues uh, taught in this course. Well, the roadmap table, written learning material, uh, videos, so the 53 uh, lecture videos, and then these lesson exercises, independently done lesson exercises connection, they are shown in uh, a table so that uh, the student can more easily see uh, which part of which element of the project connects to which other element. This hopefully helps uh, the student studying uh, of the course. Group assignments, there are four of them. And the themes are uh, listed here in this slide. Then these lecture videos, uh, special lecture videos uh, that are five of them, L01 to L05, uh, with selected contents for sequence, uh, sequential class sessions. Uh, these kind of a uh, are designed uh, to serve in the role of class sessions in terms of providing uh, similar content uh, and rhythm as five sequential sessions uh, would have uh, if they would be organized in a physical classroom. Well, the L01 to L05 are connected to students' learning, for example, in a way that uh, L01, lecture one, prepares the student uh, with uh, the group assignment uh, one, uh, one, but there is also other uh, selected contents in that video. Then uh, lecture uh, number two, LO2, uh, prepares the student with uh, uh, making the uh, group exercise, or, uh, sorry, group assignment uh, two. And then uh, LO3 and LO4 uh, help the student with uh, the third group assignment and uh, then uh, L05 with the uh, group assignment number five. Well, these L01 and L02 to L05 don't cover uh, the whole course content, but the primary aim really is to have there some selected contents that uh, help uh, the student uh, with taking a rhythm uh, if they like. Uh, to uh, go through the course in a specific way, also in connect connection with the group assignments. Well, the lecture uh, video L01 to L05 themes are, 
the following. They are listed in this slide. So these are just uh, names for this LO1, LO2 and so on. And uh, there is a lot of uh, more content in those uh, lectures. They are uh, rather lengthy, if I may say so. And uh, there is a kind of a compressed uh, contents and selected contents for a kind of a longer uh, class session. So uh, these were the elements uh, of uh, the introduction to project management course PSO. Uh, abbreviation from the Finnish, Finnish uh, language, from the uh, Finnish uh, name of the course. So, uh, welcome to the course and uh, I hope that you enjoy studying uh, project management and uh, project business. Welcome to the course. See you. Bye.